my brother was uh, working, I think he just started working and and uh, uh, during the night, the, the I, I, rem I remember dad passed away about 11 something. And we brought what did he pass away from? He passed away, in a, he was in the hospital and then we brought him back to the house and he passed away. Dad was suffering from cancer and uh, we don't have a chance to bring him in the ambulance so, so because that, that we are very deep inside the, the plantation and there's no ambulance to go and we, don't have, we cannot afford to bring dad as well. Dad passed away. In the morning, three something, I can clearly memory is still fresh. That body was lying, covered with a mat. We are waiting, appealing, appealing to everyone to sponsor us a coffee for that. My brother managed to borrow from someone and uh, he has to pay 500 a month. Of course, I thank the person who lend my, my, my brother the money. And I make sure that now when I'm, I'm, I'm now, I don't, I will tell people, if you don't money to do the coffee or whatever, just call me, I don't care where you are. I will support without, without question. Because that one is the most horrible thing to happen to us. Mom was sad. My brother was also very sad. We were not sleeping. We're staring at that body. We're helpless. Very helpless. Bob was all very helpless. How old were you when your dad passed 17. away? 17. That's really my experience. But that made me a stronger person. Because being there at that moment with my brothers, you know, we know when you are poor, friends, relatives are far away. This is the fact of life. That's why I always tell people, I don't care who you are. As long as we can help you, I urge all Malaysians, come, we, 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 we walk in a different way. We should not, we should not be normal anymore. Normal is means that you are shunned away. Uh, those poor people. This, I hope that by telling my story, I urge all Malaysians, we live a very short time in this world. We should walk together. Whether you earn your money, you have some money. Why you look, you, you should look to the left and right, see who is who is the one we should have? I believe by helping others, we become richer. It, it, it doesn't mean that we reach my pocket, but to me, our life becomes richer. To me, our life becomes more complete, our soul more complete. Because we know that out there, there are people who are asking for our help. How did you get started in charity? Actually, it's not charity. It's not actually How, yeah. what, what I call it is a logical thing to do, rather than uh, you know, I see people suffering. I see people uh, not eating. I always remember my childhood and my teens. I I I I I don't pay back my PIBG fees all the time. All the time, I think I never pay for my PIBG. It's all sponsored. So you make another person. To go and help out by supporting them. I always tell people when people don't have money, I support them. I told them I don't do I don't want you to return things to me, but I want you to go out and do something for others. That is more important. How how did you get started? Because when you pass when your dad passed away at seventeen, then what happened after that? How did you manage to now do this full time? No, when when I I was doing I told you I was doing floris. For some time after I left school, I went to work as a clerk. Then I uh, come out with uh, things to do as a florist for 18 years. But during my florist days, so I met a lot of people. This is Jalil Sota Ismail. I met a lot of beggars, poor people, mental mental people on the, on the roads. And I have a, a 
plan with them. I always, they are all my friends. They are all my, my, uh, they are living around in Bukit Bintang area. You know, those people who don't have place to stay. They stay at a rundown building. So I always go and approach them and give them food. And give, it was long, long time ago. It's I think about 20, 30 years ago, because it come up naturally for me because being 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 hungry last time hungry and you i i don't mind telling you even i see the nanas the nanas is not even right the pineapple is not even right just kampung got a lot of pineapples not even right just potong gasa and then we we just pour the ketchup and then we just eat like this because why hunger you do not know where you, yeah, you simply you learn your living skill in a different way there's something there's a story about you drinking water during uh, canteen time is it People go to camping. We, I don't go to camping. I run to the toilet. Because we, we, we live without water and they stay in our house. We we have to go to the well. There's tap poles inside the well. There's uh, the the eggs of the kata inside the well, the, the frog eggs inside the well. We take water from the well. So I go to school. I, I, I cannot ask mom for money. Really? So people, when we say, man, who hungry, what to do? You run to the toilet, you just fill up the, fill up the stomach with water. Because that is the, that is also a blessing because why? In our house, we have to take the water very far away, we have to bring back home, and then we have to boil it with the, it's not like, think you can boil, you have to put the firewood, everything you want to boil the water. And, and, and when in the school, I have to run to the, my, my teacher was very surprised. Every time the bell is just rang, I have to run to the toilet. Because that is the place where I can feel my summer. So how, how did you go from uh, your own business as a florist to uh, starting the... I think, uh, no, when I, when I was in, uh, in Puchong, I, I, I see a lot of people uh, uh, suffering and then uh, and then I I, I I started the community I mean we started the, the police started the community policing so community policing is about uh, taking care of the society you know prevention of crime this and that one of the one of the one of the reason of crime is poverty I think I think so I, I'm not I'm not expert on this but I see that broken families those who get arrested, they have, most of them come from broken families. Those, you know, you don't see Tamantun, you have a Tamantun area, you don't see them uh, have this type of a problem of uh, racing, motorbike racing, all this. They all come from, you know, Lembah Pantai, you know, come from area that there's some society, I mean, uh, the community problem. So, so the, the thing is that uh, uh, from community policing, I th I believe that uh, we expanded. We expanded the 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 positive works. When I see there's problem in a uh, uh, this type of community, I I told myself I need to strategize and help out in a bigger way, maybe a more organized way, and we have our members, our community policing members, helping out. And we started from Pasas Prosin. Pasas Prosin is a place where the poor, the, the needy can buy things at any rate. We, we sell fridge, we sell TV. No, you, you, you are poor, but uh, you, you know, uh, people ask me, you are poor, you don't need to give them TV. They are poor, they, they don't see TV. I say that is... That's not true. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Because why? To me, the children will stay at home with the mother more. They see the TV, they stay at home more. They don't go out and you have trouble. You know, you, you, you have to spend more time with the family. So this, a, the TV is a good tool for these children to gather around and then, you know, watching a, 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 a... If you leave them alone, they'll go out from the flat, they go down and then they'll get molested, they'll get, you know, they get in trouble. So I started from Basas Kosin. So let's say you, you have a, uh, old clothes. 
we do not want. You hold the cross for what? You bring out that people wear. I, I have personal experience. A woman attended her daughter convo with just 60 cents. She bought a handbag there, she bought a tudung there, she bought a baju there, she bought a shoes there. 60 cents she attended her daughter convo. She told me I attended my daughter convocation with your help by only spending 60 cents. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to listen to her. You know, these, these are things that people can buy. You see, a lot of people, they, they, they house a lot of things. So they don't know what to do. Why not you bring it out and give to these people? And you don't give them free because they won't remember. The 10 cent tag is for them to remember that this is 10 cent. This is somebody, you give them dignity so I buy, I don't, I don't take for free. Number one. Number two, the 10 cent tag is a trick for them to remember for life that this thing is, you must appreciate this 10 cent. You, you remember the 10 cent, oh, I buy this 10 cent. I remember. If I said free, I forget everything. So it's quite a big operation now. You've got, I think you've got 10 ambulances, you've got 10 hearses, you've got lorries also. It's, it's become a very big operation with like you, you, 40 staff. We, 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 we don't plan God plans. When I was doing massage procedure, I, I saw somebody, uh, uh, why they are so young poor because of their health, their, their health issue. I asked them why. They, they, they cannot go to hospital because they have to take buses to go to hospital and it takes uh, half a day to reach hospital, half a day to come back. By the time come back, they also die already. So I think, okay, let's go. We do this way. We give them taxi, 10 cent taxi. So they can order the taxi to go to hostel, they can come back uh, easier. Uh, they can spend less time in the hostel and uh, the traveling time. So they can actually uh, spend more time with the family and also can cope or whatever. Or else they, I got one cancer patient, he will take, a, he will take three buses to reach IKN. And then take three buses to come back. By the time he showed 9, 9 p.m. Oh, yeah. So, it, cancer won't kill him, but I think the traveling will kill him. <laughs> so, for that reason, I, I, we immediately started the uh, Tyson taxi. Uh, of course, uh, we are spotted by, uh, our field is spotted by uh, a few companies, uh, uh, Atron actually. So, I started taxi. After that, I said, hey, this guy uh, 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 cannot already develop uh, bad reader already. So what to do? Uh, no money to ring the ambulance, call for a private ambulance. So I said, okay, we start the ambulance service. So after the ambulance service, the fellow passed away. Hey, no money to bring back home, uh, go, go bring back where, 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 uh, to Kelantan, to where. So I said, okay, lah, never mind, we start the hearse. After the hearse, also, no money to touch it, no money to do the funeral. Okay, we also put in the funeral. Then we put in the glasses, the free glasses. We put in the free uh, the legs. Uh, we call it what 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 leg? Uh, the, the amputees, they, they, they cut off the leg. Uh, no leg. No leg how to go and jerry makan. Oh, give them leg. Uh. No, no, no eyesight how to jerry makan. We give them all this. Uh. And then we give them, oh, they come from very far, they cannot stay. Okay, uh, we put up the hotel. Uh. We put up the Roma Warren Gate. So you can stay, you know, when, when they come to, they come for uh, treatment in, in KL, they are for outstation. We started all the houses, the Roma one ringgit, for them to stay for one ringgit a night. So this is uh, totally unplanned thing. I never even planned this thing. How many years have you been doing this business? Is it a business? How, how does it work? No, no, it's not business. It's not business. It, it's, I believe that this is the joy of doing it. Because I think... Uh, most of the people, they don't thank me. They use their eyes to look at me. Ah, really? Ah? Thank you. Ah? But they don't even say that. The eyes already say thank you. For me, when, when a person is down with cancer or down with stroke, uh, they are in trouble. Yeah, some of them, uh, they are not earning much. Actually, in this, in this city, if you're earning 3,000, you're, you're really very poor. Because your one trip to the hostel to and fro, it costs you about 500 ringgit for your ambulance services. How many times your father want to go to the hostel? Let's say one month you have four times, you're already 2,000 gone. So how, how can you survive? You know, then you have your renter, you have to pay your loan payment, this and that. So for me, it's only logical we, we step in. We step in at this point. And I want to hug them. I want to say, let's move. I'm blessed. I'm not, I don't have this problem. Okay? 
I help you because I know you have a problem. I think I think I think I enjoy doing it. I, I don't mind. I, I I don't mind to say that. I mean, I enjoy uh, helping others and walking straight. It's like some some very heroic things to do. So when people are down with very helpless, so you go there and pat the back. You know, you 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 like I I call right? Hey, come come come. We move together. Come, we move together, and and we make things better for you. So I really enjoy that kind of situation, and and I think uh, when you're down like me last time, like me. I was so helpless. I staring at my dead body. I do not know where to find money. So, for me, now I I'm able to do. I I have trust by the followers, the fan. I mean the the, the followers on the Facebook. So I told them, oh, this is the case. I my followers, the followers are so eager to jump in and help. I think this is very. I think it's very unique. Angkut Kentang is very unique because Angkut Kentang is not about me. Angkut Kentang is about Malaysians. Angkut Kentang is about everyone, each and everyone. Because without the the real heroes is the people who donate, come, give rice, give everything. These are the people who give me ambulance. They give me ambulance. They come here. You need ambulance? I give you one. Huh? So I have ten now, and these ten can help a lot of people. So I think the real heroes is not about me. Angkut Kentang comprises of all the races. We have six. We have six. Uh, the, uh, the 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 Sing coming in very strong. We have the Malays coming very strong. The Chinese, the Indians, all coming very strong in in this platform. And I I, I truly uh, can see the beauty beauty of Malaysia. In it. That's why it, it make me more uh, what I call that uh, shock uh, to go and do more because why? And then this group of people they oh they really awesome. We are very poor last time. We are very poor. You know, my my mother was bullied lah. I don't want to talk about uh, worst scenario. You know? Yeah, yeah. My mother actually go and uh, wash table clothing. And you know, we iron. We don't use the the what iron ah. The we don't have the steam ah. So we iron with the arang ah. You know, the people just throw the clothing at my mother's face. Ayo. I tell you, I I I I don't talk. Yes, it will make me cry more. Because we we went through a lot of, you know, even we are bullied. Because we are the only outsider family in in that area. So so consider outsider. My father consider outsider. So yeah. So so right now, right now, how do you keep the whole operation going? Is this your full-time job now? Yeah. It's your full-time now. What what is a typical day in your in your life? What does a typical day look like? Oh, I wake up. I will reach uh, messages. I will see with the WhatsApp and I see who should be should be help. And then I send the team there uh, to help them arrange the ambulance. Uh, of course, uh, when they ask for me, uh, they will tell their problem. Uh, so what they need because. Giving them a ambulance is, it's not a full stop there. It means that if they don't have the ambulance, they don't have money to to get the ambulance. That means they also in trouble in their food, their education, their children well being, their rental, their destiny. This is a big problem. So we don't only in our ambulance we do not only uh, send you back. No, I always tell my staff, inquire what they need more, where are they, what is the position, how are they going to uh, cope with this type of situation. This is very important because why? Uh, for me, uh, when a person is helpless, you go and give them assurance. Okay, I'm going to help you. First, I will list out what I'm going to help you. So, what is your position? How you can recover from here? People can be set for a whole day, but if you tell them what are you going to do for them, you give them that little assurance to. Think that life is better, and and life is more beautiful. This 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 is what I believe that we should do. I don't say uh, when you apply for something, I don't want to delay you because I'm capable. Then I I have power. Uh, uh, I want to delay you. Uh, ask you to go to some somewhere. Uh, wait for me. Uh, do ucapan. Do the talk talk talk. You know, uh, like a politician. No, my thing is 
You need it? This minute, if I can tell you, in 10 seconds, I can tell you yes or no, I will tell you yes or no. And what I'm going to do for you. You know, you don't let people suffer. Like my mother, want to ask for rice. Huh? You ask my mother to wait four, five hours there, waiting like a dog. Dog, you know, like a dog. Treated my mother like a dog. Waited there and then do such a like this. This is, it's inhuman. Unless you have the power, you are the sundry shop owner, you have power. You can give or you don't give. For me, I prioritize poor people first. The rich, they can do their own, they can. Do you find there's a lot of poor people nowadays? Even more than yes. before? Yes, because of the COVID situation, the pandemic situation, I think there is a lot more. Uh, the demand increased. Demand for help increased. So I believe that uh, we not only doing that, we, 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 we try to we try to find ways, you know, to give them uh, uh, businesses how to go and do small. I I I, I go and tell the auntie, auntie, you must do some business, you know, to survive this and that. We don't give you money like that. So if we give you uh, capital uh, to support you, uh, like I said, sometimes I buy motorbike uh, or buy whatever you give to them, or I give them a stall or whatever. So I hope that they can change their life. So that they, they don't need to. We, we are just only a, uh, you know, you know we, are, we are just uh, some uh, handrail. So you hold the handrail, you wake up, you, you, you stand up, then you walk. We are just the temporary handrail for you. We are not. Uh, of course, unless and until you need really for full support for a long time. And we don't go there and take picture and then say, hey, I give you rice. I, 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 I will see, I will understand your situation. I have to investigate your case and see what is the long term and short term help that we need to give it to you. How do you monitor people after you have helped them? Do you have, do you, do you have the resources to monitor them? Yes, we monitor them. We know we must know what, what are they doing. What are they How doing? do you do that? Huh? How do you do that? Visit again. Oh. We visit again. We don't give you a day. We just let go like that. Then you go and buy uh, perfume or whatever your money. Oh. So we normally we give you, we, we make sure the stall, we, we talk to the coffee shop owner. Okay, this stall you give to this one. We will pay the rental first, the deposit we will pay. And then we will buy the equipment all and give it to them. And then they start the business there. And I make sure that their, their market is set up. If the makan is set up, I tell them don't waste your time. You waste your time. You're wasting my money, you're wasting the time. Because if you go, if you, if you do a store and then it's no good, uh, you're wasting your time. You spend your time there for what? You better get lost and go and do something else. So we also mesh and pair what they can do and what they cannot do. Uh, because you don't, you don't simply chuck the thing to them. That's why I said, I like my mother. I always tell people, like my mother, you say, chuck, chuck, chuck. They give me the shirt, the school shirt, very big one. The shorts, very big one. I also don't know how to wear, but I have to wear. Lah. <laughs> but, you see, when, when you're giving to people, make sure you, 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 you must make sure the thing is good to use and not just because you want to chuck off your things. Good people, quality uh, stuff. Lah. No, people, sometimes people treat me like the, you know, the, what they call it, the, the last up lower, you know, the rubbish collector. So, or send me anything, uh, all rubbish sent to me. I, I know. I, yeah. I cannot say bad words to them or I cannot <laughs> scold them. I have to take and get quiet and then I come back, I have to go and ask the uh, lorry driver to go and throw away. And they have to pay the lawyer driver to throw away the things. Yeah, it's not usable. So I I I really I I I you see I remember one word, you know, when I was very young. How the uh hina, what do you call it in English? Hina is like cleaner. Uh hina is uh, like uh they told my mother, I want to give you this electric kettle. You know, I like very much to give you this electric kettle, but your house don't electricity, so don't need that. Are you? So, so that's why I say people, life is very short. Today you are rich or whatever, okay, but don't uh, go and uh, uh, go and uh, belittle, uh, go and belittle these poor people. God is not testing them. God is not testing the poor people. 
God is testing the rich people. Whether you know, the richness that God give, grant to you, whether you share with others or not. God never tests the sick. God tests the people who are well. Whether you are well, you, you are blessed or not, whether you're going to help the person that is sick or not. That's why I always tell people, God is not testing them, that is testing, testing us. So let's do what we can do. I, I enjoy doing it. Lah. Definitely, I tell you the truth. I enjoy my day because when I sleep, ah, I sleep like a gangster. <laughs> I sleep, open my shirt, oh, enjoy life. Because today, we have, we have uh, intervened a few and then some of them really, they, they really shed tears and say thank you. You know, when I heard you on um, Astro, uh, I heard you on Light FM, and then now you also talk about God a lot, right? Do you believe there's an afterlife? I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe in afterlife, but of course, I'm, I'm, I don't have religion. You don't have religion? Uh, I don't have, I don't have, but I follow the Islam way of uh, teachings, where I find that it's, it's, it's quite practical. It's, it's logical and practical. Uh, uh, to me, uh, religion is what you do. Uh, it's not what you preach you are to be. What you do. I I, I always tell myself when, when I wake up, God wake me up. Uh, not, 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 not the alarm. Uh. Uh, if the alarm rings, God don't wake me up. So I, I, I cannot listen to the alarm at all. So I always tell myself, hey, God wake me up today. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do to this country? What should I do to, to other humans? And I, I believe that that is my main thing. Uh, one thing. Uh, I get already. I say, ah, where is the poor? Come. What what shapes your thinking? What what have given you the? Uh, what makes you think the way that you do? I think I think we are going to die. We are going to end our life. But before ending our life, I believe the most beautiful part is sharing what we have. To me, uh, those who pass away will pass away. Already. Those who are not born yet is not born yet. So. During this this space of time, uh, all is my neighbors. All everyone is in this world is our neighbors, and everyone in this is. If you look at uh, Adam and Eve, who is our moyang? Who is our grand grandparents? Adam and Eve. Are we a big Are we a big family? Yes. If you believe Adam and Eve, and then you must say we are a big family. Uh, we share the same same grandparents. And why should we quarrel among each other? I do not have time. Really, I do not have time. If people criticize me, people uh, bombard me, scold me, or whatever, I say I got no time to bother about you. I got time to go and see the poor and the sick. They are still lying in the hostel and they still need us. I I, I, I always tell you, you say today we are going back to Kolompang. Uh, then uh, there's there's a lot. Yesterday with one young girl needed to go back to more. Then the mother got no money. After discharge, this is only the. I can show you the message she sent to me. This is the only thing that can make us happy. Yeah, la, you can enjoy your life, la, but to me, I enjoy my life different way. How, how do you view money? What is your view of money? Money don't belong to us. La. End of the day, you go there, you go to help, you, you go to the other side. They might burn you the what the hell bank notes. So you you can have money. You enjoy. I, I don't say that you don't enjoy. You enjoy your life, but you help others also. You, you you can enjoy your life. No problem. You can buy luxury cars, work. but do you do you see or do you care for your? I, I mean, to me, the soul is important. Man. You see, a lot of people they are rich people, but I, I they make millions and millions tons of money, but. Do they really enjoy their life? Do you think they don't? I believe the soul uh, is very important. I got friends who are very rich. Very rich. Filthy rich. I don't, I don't mind telling you, they, they are also with me. Filthy rich. They told me one day, they said, uh, I think I'm missing something. This is one of the rich men in, 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 in our country, they told me. I think I'm, I'm missing something. Just, I think I've made enough. Enough. Uh, so I want to go to the other side. What what is the other side? I I, I think I'm missing something. He told me personally. Uh, I don't know how to mention his name, but he told me he called me. Hey, I want to do something. 
Yes, I think I missed something in life. So I said, yeah, come. You go and do your thing. Like, you don't need to come and see me. You go and just do. I tell you to do that. You'll be more happy. When you have someone uh, on the street, uh, I tell you, you go back also, you feel, oh, yeah, today I have done something good. Uh. So the feeling is there. You, 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 can, you can be a journalist. Then you can write reports. You, know, you make money, you marry, you get you settled down, you have your children. But what values are you going to teach your children? Your family? What are you going to teach them? What is your advice to young people? I, I say carry on your life, but look left and look right. If there's someone there who needed your help, who needed a lead, please help them. For me, uh, the fulfillment of life is not about money. The fulfillment of life, you, you, you just look back at your own self and see whether you walk the way right or wrong. Yeah, you can make a lot of money. Uh. You can make a lot of money. You can have private jacks, this and that. But I believe, end of the day, when you want to go to the other world, you ask, has you done enough for your country? Has you, has you done enough for your humankind? Yeah, you may have plenty of cash with you. But end of the day, when, you, when they want to pull out your, your oxygen uh, tube, uh, uh, you want to estimate you, uh, you will think, uh, I'm going to the other side. I, has I done the best of the best for my country and the best of the best for my human? I always question that on myself. I don't know others. I cannot because they have their own style of life. But for me, every morning, I think of my country, of my fellow humankind, of my, my, my immediate family members, my friends. Just be out there. Uh, I'm, I'm quite lucky because I'm quite uh, uh, resourceful also. I, I don't quarrel with people. So I said, hey, come on, we work together. Come on, work I don't go, go against the government also. Come on, we, the government agencies, they are very good. If you, if you work properly with them, they will work with you. So no point going uh, pinpoint people weakness, pinpoint people, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you know? Uh, why, why you blame them? Yeah, you why you're not doing? Hey, don't care lah. You do your own thing lah. You don't ask what people are, are they doing lah. As long as you do your own thing, you enjoy your life. You bring a group of people and enjoy their life. We enjoy our life. I think our followers are so eager to in the morning. Yeah, they like 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 you know like cheetahs. You know like the, the hungry cheetahs waiting to go and donate money, waiting to go and help people. So we create that type of uh, bandwidth. And uh, of course, inside the team, I said, uh, because Kentang is representing the, all the races. Why we do free uh, transportation for Sabah and Sarawak? When they come here, we have a, we have a, a van standby in the KLA to bring them to the hostel. You know, from Sarawak, they're they're from Ulu Kapit. They come here, how do they know? They want to go to IJN, they want to go to IKN. They don't know how to go because because these are the specialist hostel in, in KL. So they travel from Sarawak to here. So when they reach, reach the airport, they open the door, they also don't know how to go. Where? <laughs> so what do you do? You don't know, come, 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 come. We let, give you stay, we give you food, we give you transportation. They're so happy. One man came with five ringgit only. Wow. Five ringgit in his pocket, he, he got an ice operation uh, done. And he need to be ratified immediately in Selayang. So he, the doctor gave, just gave him a slip of paper with my phone number. The fellow came to KLA with five ringgit. I said, Uncle, you bring how much coffee you look like? Coco. He thought that he can five ringgit, he can travel to, uh, to Surayam. Wow. Uh, so, oh my god. So, we, I told him that come, we, we, uh, and he go back with chill. So, because why I gave some money to go back. Because from, from Sarawak, uh, he has to take a ferry, then he has to go to Ulukape. Ferry, bus, then they reach Ulukape. So, logically, when we had been. He called me up, no. He knew the Chinese year, which means happy Chinese year. I want to say thank you. I have met one of the world, world, world like that. You know, the, 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 the thank you message is so enriching. And then he told me, you come to carpet, you go and see me, this and that. Oh. Five ringgit, you go back, you got the three hundred ringgit in your pocket. I say, you take me and go back. <laughs> so this is, this is story of human life, uh, interaction of human life. Why you ring it down to expect, man? Whether you makan also. He left Slayam without paying his bill. He, he ran out for Slayam because the Slayam bill cost about $100. So he, he ran out and he, he ran, tried to run away. 
I said, no, no, you pay the bill, don't worry. You pay, we pay for you, don't worry. Why you want to run? I got no money. I said, never mind, we pay for you. So you teach him also to be honest, to be responsible. You have a bill, you pay. You don't, you don't, you go and ask for somebody to pay you for you. And then we brought him, bring him back, and then brought him back. So these are stories of really, we, we, you see, so poor thing from someone, someone when they come here, they cannot, they, the first time they reach the Kerala airport, uh, then you ask them to go, some, one woman, one woman, having cancer, she's, I think stage four, stage three, she want to walk from airport, she thought she's from Sarawak, I think one, one remote area Sarawak, she thought of walking to IKM from Kerala, she think, say dekat Sarawak, saya jalan saja, so she come here, she's cancer alone, you know, so I said, why you want to go walk, we send you, 